All right, you guys, welcome back to another First Impression Friday. We are going to be taking a look at EYMM Modern Designs, which stands for Everything Your Mama Made and More, which I think is so cute. Um, it's Modern Designs for the Modern Seamstress. As you can see, they have a wide variety of sewing patterns, including stuff for dolls and toys, which you don't see very often, men's. Um, maternity they have like a whole section on maternity um, they even have like a boys section for newborns to 18 and a girls section um, clearly we are gonna be looking at all the women's patterns today but if you're interested in any of these other categories of course um, go check those out so EYMM is um, owned and all the patterns are designed by Kimmy She's a stay-at-home mom to five, which explains why she has so many kids patterns and maternity patterns. Um, and she started out as a sewing blogger and then realized that, you know, she really loved designing her own patterns. And so she created um, this pattern company, which is just so cool. And you hear that story so much from so many um, at-home bloggers. So I'm excited to check out her collection of women's patterns. And see what we've got. I love the price point on these. Everything is under $10 normally. They're all on sale right now. I don't know the specifics of the sale or how long it lasts or why we're having a sale, but everything is marked down to $3. So that's a good time to purchase some of these patterns if you are interested in trying them out and seeing what they're all about. All right. So the very first pattern we've got is Kimmy's Dolman Top, extra small to 5X. And we will get into what exactly that means here in a minute. But this is a quick and simple sew using knit fabrics, trendy with its multiple hem options and flattering wide cut boat neck. Comfy, fashionable, easy to make, size up or down for different fits and styles. Um, even, my, even most of my testers who were new to knits and beginners with sewing garments in general could sew it up in under an hour. Um, even if the first one wasn't perfect, they were totally wearable. All right. Um, Great custom fit instructions, so not only do you get 10 sizes in one pattern, but you also get directions to help make a perfect fit top, whether you're petite, tall, slim, plus size, or even pregnant. With a good 50% stretch, and View E was a last minute addition, but makes a great comfy tunic that is very fashionable with or without a belted waistband. All right, so let's look at some of these pictures. Is this gonna open up? Yes, thank you so much, Kimmy, for giving me good photos to look at. So as you can tell, two pattern pieces, front and a back, um, grown on sleeve, open boat neck, which I think is turned under. And then apparently we have, yeah, some hem options. So you've got the high low, basic, uh, banded. You've got view uh, that is ruched, which is for maternity, but this clearly non-pregnant person, or at least not showing, um, looks really cute in hers. And view E is the like super long tunic. Okay, so here is the size chart. So from extra small to extra large, she includes the shoulder to hip length. And then your bust is 32 up to 42 and a half. And then the plus size chart goes from 45 and a half to 61 and a half. So very inclusive there. Hip wise, and this is a close fitting garment at the hip. So we're going from 34 and a half inches up to 63 and a half inches. And then you have approximate finished measurements here, but those are really just the length and then the waist. And for this pattern, the waist is kind of negligible, but nice, broad, wide size range, which is really nice. Fabric requirements. And then here are some of the tester photos which we will get, oh, so sweet, which we will get to see this on a bunch of different bodies, a bunch of different sizes, and a bunch of different skill levels, which I also really like. I think that's the high-low hem. So clearly it depends, I mean, your fabric choice is important. Um, I think that if you go a little bit drapier, like this woman has, like she has, she went super drapey, which is why her sleeve is so drapey. Um, you will get a more flattering look. This one's beautiful with the banded hem. I also noticed some issues, where was it? With the neck being really wide, 
where was she? This one. Really wide neck. And I don't know if that's because she cut a size that fit her full bust. And so accordingly, you know, her neck was really wide open. But I also think you could probably just keep sewing this neckline closed and you wouldn't have that issue. Hard to say. Um, I didn't really see anybody. Well, I guess hers is pretty long too. Or, or wide open. So that would be my thing to look out for in this pattern. All right. And then she has the description, material... Okay, so that is the Kimmy's Dolman and kind of a look into her sizing. Next up, we have the Women's Everyday Essentials, which is a set of simple knit undergarments that are perfect for layering, including included are a comfortable sleeping bra, a camisole, two different length gowns that can be made as a nightgown or as a full slip and chemise, as well as two different half length slips. Wow. These pieces, this is all for three bucks, you guys. Um, these pieces are great for in-between layering, for slinking, thin or lightweight dresses and skirts to provide more modest coverage of your bra and underwear. So three different cup sizes for each of the bodices, as well as a variety of finishes for the neckline, arms, and hem, including binding, elastic, and lace. And then there's two different lengths of an optional slit. I mean, this pattern includes 10 sizes. This must be like... 50 patterns all in one. So beautiful little crossover bralette. I love bras like this. So comfortable. And then you've got your little slit skirt. You can make this out of like the knit trico that they have at um, Joanne. Here's one of the camisoles. I mean, I know that's meant for undergarments, but that's just really pretty. So is this one. I would wear that out. And I guess it's great for nursing too. I saw something about nursing somewhere. I mean, I guess it's a little bit low, you know, which makes it, you know, for the full chested ladies, it makes it a little bit risque, but I'm not seeing any glaring fit issues. And again, that just looks so comfortable and what a great use of scraps, this little bralette. Just flipping through some of these. No more images. I was hoping to see some more of the skirts. I'd also really like to see line drawings, um, which were, oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, so this really helps because you can see exactly what all that verbiage really breaks down to. Bralette, a couple different lengths of skirts, one with a little slit in it. This is a little tank. Then you have two different dresses. Um, this is the back of one and then the front and then two different length skirts. So obviously, I guess it kind of makes sense if we're attaching skirts to different, you know, bodices and stuff. But for three bucks, what a deal. What a deal. Maternity modification directions. That's great. One of those things that you don't think about that you might need and then you see a pattern like that and you're like, you know what, that wouldn't be bad to have on hand. Okay, this is the Women's Activewear Get Moving Leggings, recently updated. These low to mid-rise elastic free, which is nice. I don't, I, there were a bunch of people doing leggings with elastic bands. Um, and I made one and I was like, I'll never do this again. So I'm so glad we're getting the elastic free yoga style leggings. Um, are designed to be almost as tight as performance compression wear with made with, um, when made with more structured four-way stretch knits. The snug fabric actually helps increase and improve blood flow while working out. I just find them comfortable whether running or cleaning the house. Well, that's interesting. And then you can use a stretchier fabric if you want a more relaxed legging. Um, long underwear for layering. Basic pattern has more room in the crotch than most leggings. We have also included an optional triangle gusset for those who want a little bit more mobility or who struggle with seams pulling at the crotch. So you have both options here. That's interesting. Um, one of the big reasons we updated it after four years is that we have access to a lot more knit fabrics now. That's true. And the finished fit can vary based on the knit fabric used, particularly in length. I've also added more structured fabrics. Also more structured fabrics will offer more compression. Testers feel the newest version made an already awesome pattern even better. Interesting. So here they are. 
just a basic legging. Here are, you have your regular waistband, a fold over waistband, and a contoured waistband, which is especially nice if they are lower rise. Um, and then a bunch of different lengths as well. I don't know which of the waistbands that is. Is that fold over maybe? And then there is the band. So yeah, it is pretty low weight, low rise. Her waist obviously is way up here. Um, and so the rise on this is pretty low, which is nice to have that um, contoured waistband when it sits lower on your waist like that. Those of us with fuller bums, um, I'm interested to see kind of the coverage and the rise in the back if you have a fuller bum. Because it's one thing to have a low rise in the front, but you have to make up for that somewhere in the back. Otherwise, you've got plumber crack. And it does, it does look like it is a little bit longer in the back, which is nice. Oh, that's a really, like, firm athletic legging. So you can tell people are wearing them casually. People are wearing them as like leggings with tunics over them. A lot of different options. All right. And I bet that, yeah, I bet that girls, the little girls really like them because they can fold over that waistband nice and low. All right. So yeah, optional gusset I think is really interesting because a lot of times you'll find a legging pattern that has one or the other. Um, so it's nice. And I like a gusset for an athletic legging. I don't like a gusset for like a fashion legging. So it's nice to have the option of either or. All right. This is the women's Pico top. Trends this season are all about flowy, loose fitting, comfortable tops, including the oversized flowy Pico style tops. This trendy style top is popular in Europe and Asia, quick and easy to make, versatile with multiple hem and sleeve options, modest, yet still allow you to stay cool in the summer. Perfect for those draping knits you find all the time but don't know what to make out of them. That is so true. I have a whole bunch of those where I was just like, the drapier the knit, the better. And now I now I know better. <laughs> all right, let's get an idea of this without hands in the air. So, well, that one has some funky shadows. It looks like it's just... Maybe a dolman sleeve. These photos are actually really, yeah. Okay, so we've got a grown-on sleeve here and then the sleeve attached to that. So the front of this body is a lot like, or the main part of this body is a lot like that first pattern we looked at. And then you have a sleeve added on is really what's going on here. Cute with an infinity scarf. All right, let's check out the line drawings. I think we got a good idea of the tester makes. So options are this little shorter sleeve. Well, how are they doing that? That seems magical to me. Is it just banded? Hold please, let's find some more photos. I thought we were good on the photos. I thought I knew what we were looking at and then I realized, you know what, we don't. So there is a little band sewn to every sleeve. It's just a matter of how long that band is. Can you see the little band that's there? So that makes a lot more sense to me now. So even though it doesn't look like this, there's a seam here, there's a seam on all three of these right through here. So that's that. And then you have your side tail hem, which is this, also shark bite. <laughs> I think we learned a couple weeks ago. This is the high-low and then you have the regular. Again, for three bucks and to be able to get some of those, you know, super thin knits out of your stash, I'm all for that. Here's a duster cardigan, versatile open front cardigan, has beautiful drape and plenty of options, including a hood to allow it to be made and worn year round. Lighter fabrics and shorter sleeves for the warmer months and longer sleeves and warmer fabrics for the cooler months. Two length options, five sleeve options and an optional integrated hood. Again, grown on sleeve. You can also make it into a vest. Okay, I hadn't considered that. Yep, you can belt it. Wear it as a pool cover up. Here it is with a little short sleeve. 
you can see the sleeve hem here. I mean, there is technically a sleeve, but it does feel a little bit like a uh, drop shoulder. She made hers with the hood. The hood's kind of cool. I like how she said it's integrated, which means there's not an extra seam there. That's kind of cool and smart and different. Hers has the hood too. And you can see when your knit has like the same print on both sides, it's not just printed on. You can see how beautiful that little waterfall ends up looking. The integrated knit is really, or hood is really, really, really interesting. That's like the main thing here that uh, makes this one stand out from some of the others that we've seen. I mean, a waterfall cardigan, you know, no big deal, but that integrated hood really is something different. Cool. All right, there you have it. And you can see the shoulder options too. We have got one up here, but then we also have a drop shoulder one. Um, confident beginners, knit fabric with good drape. Oh, she teaches you how to reinforce the shoulder seams. That's nice. All right, cool. Yeah, if you don't have a waterfall cardigan pattern yet, that one seems like a good basic one. Freestyle pants and capris for women. Is this what I think it is? MC Hammer pants? Because I might be here for some MC Hammer pants. Yep. They're, I don't know about calling them harem pants. I think I might have mentioned that before. That still seems very common, but I don't know if we should be calling them that. <laughs> Either way, um, the bottoms are comfortable, practical, and trendy all at the same time. Simply use different fabric and or styling to create bottoms that are classic, bohemian, or urban. Yeah, can we call them boho pants? They are perfect for the free spirit hipster and classic or trendy fashionistas. The drop crotch is roomy, but not so saggy full that it reaches the knees. Well, thank goodness for that. The pattern offers two lengths options, two front waistbands, three hem options, and available in 10 sizes. Super cool. And definitely not a pattern that you see very often, either in big four or in indie patterns. You've got like a full waistband and then a whole bunch of pleats. And then is that an elastic um, in the back? Yes, it is. So pleated, elastic. You've also got some um, hem bands or you can lengthen them to the floor. Super cool, yes. I feel like she's going to a hip hop dance class. All right, we get the idea of these, right? But she made hers dressy. I would wear them dressy too, to be perfectly honest. I think they're so cool. I would wear them to Target in a heartbeat. Here are the line drawings. So you can see kind of how that works. You've got a curved waistband, a straight waistband, and then the back is elastic. Um... Pant link with elastic hem, capri link with a cuff hem, and then you also have a regular hem. And then fabric-wise, I wanted to see what she... Bonus, maternity directions, just use knit for the waistband. So is this a woven design? Oh, supplies? Okay. Okay. Fashion fabric like rayon blends, knit, or woven are ideal due to their fluid drape. So a rayon blend of any kind, knit or woven, is what she's saying. Then you need 3 8 inch elastic. Interfacing. And then um, contrast fabric for the cuffs only, because those have to fit tightly around your calves. Okay, and then she has like specific recommendations. Okay, so it's like a knit and a woven combo. Fun. 
All right, Callie's nightgown and nightshirt. Uh, after fellow moms fell in love with my Riley's youth version, this raglan sleepwear is inspired by some of the sports t-shirts of my husband's that children and I love to wear to bed. Oh, that's sweet. It has a longer, more traditional length gown that hits right below the knee and a shorter and comfy long shirt that hits about mid-thigh. There's also the option of either long three-quarter or short sleeves. Hem facings which is a nice um, detail. Give a clean finished look with a peekaboo hem. Practical, comfortable, but still cute. All right. I actually sleep in a lot of these um, myself. I got a whole bunch of them from like Victoria's Secret a few years ago. Um, they're this length and she's right. They are very comfortable. Cute, right? Yeah, and you can really use some fun fabrics for this, too, since you're just wearing it to bed. The little slits are nice. Cute. All right, there you have that. Here are our line drawings. No line drawings on this one, but the description. Confident beginner. 50% uh, stretch fabric. Neck binding and hem facing. She's recommending knit rib knits. Okay. Cute little nightgown. These are still basic patterns, but I feel like they're basics that not a lot of other people are doing. Do you know what I mean? Not a lot of other designers are like taking the time to design night shirts you know, slips and chemises and things like that. All right, his and her asymmetrical hoodie and hooded vest is a modern and trendy yet practical hooded sweatshirt with clean lines, asymmetrical zipper, optional pockets. Uh, works with a variety of fabrics, uses a separating zipper. Um, 11 total adult sizes. Separate sizes for men and women, I guess. And then variety of fabrics for the outer shell, including sweatshirt fleece, French cherry fleece, velour, or thick interlock. It just needs at least a small amount of stretch. The body is the bodice is lined. And for the lining, you can use any lightweight knit fabric. Another option is to use a rib knit for the cuffs and bottom band instead of the outer main fabric. And it has this little asymmetrical zipper, as you can see, a lined hood, nice big hood. Those look like kangaroo pockets. That's really cool how the zipper tape is the same color as the lining. That actually looks like really kind of high end. Look at all these guy models. I love that. It's cool. It's like moto jacket meets bomber. That was fleece fabric, if you're wondering. It gives a whole different vibe than some of the other ones we've been looking at. That's probably sweatshirt fleece. Super cute. Is that camo in pink? How cute. Cool. So here are our line drawings. I think it looks really interesting. Especially, like I said, the one where the zipper teeth matched the lining. That felt so, like, I don't, fashion. I don't know. It felt so fashion-y to me. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have women's capsule skirt. Perfect piece for the much sought-after capsule wardrobe. Modern, yet classic knit skirt. Simple half circle skirt with a knit waistband. Also has side seam pockets. There is an additional hemline option for the back piece that is slightly longer. What? And allows for more back coverage for those who need it. So basically she created one with a full seat adjustment already included. Oh my gosh, there's an optional front hemline for maternity wear too, which is like the same as if you have a big butt. If you have like a pregnant belly, it's the same concept. Um, 
the uh, pregnant ladies can wear the waistband under the belly. The maternity cut line shortens the front hem slightly so that when worn under the belly, the skirt is not significantly longer in the front. Okay, a little different than what I thought, but still super cool. Because at first I was like, oh, a half circle skirt, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's so basic. But it is still basic. And yes, a full seat adjustment on a skirt is not difficult to do. But I just love that she thought of that. Because there's probably a lot of people learning to sew from her patterns and they don't know the first thing about full seat adjustments. So that's really cool. We also have the um, pockets that are sewn into the waistband. Thank you very much. Really cute. Simple, basic, but come on, tell me you wouldn't like just reach for a knit skirt all the time. I'd like to see the band. Here we go. Everything your mama made woman's capsule skirts. <laughs> There's another one with the band. So it is kind of, it sits right on your hip, which I'm not sure if I love that, but you can always, always um, position it and fit it for your natural waist and then just make it a little bit longer. But it's cute. You really cannot go wrong with a um, half circle skirt. Flattering on everyone. Okay, love it. All right, next up. These are when we start getting into the bundles, I think. Yeah, so here we are. This is the Woman's California Dresses and Peplum Top. Inspired by summer and Southern California beaches. Um, this pattern includes four different lengths. Ankle length maxi, both above and below the knee length dresses and a peplum top. As a bonus, the maxi length also offers a high-low option and has directions right on the pattern piece for lengthening it into a floor sweeping length. The bodice is also reversible. You can wear it with the scoop neck or the faux halter style in front. Last but not least, it has an elasticized waistline that can be worn alone or mix it up with a cute wider skinny belt. Okay. All right, let's take a look. I kind of like the ankle length more so than when it touches the floor. So... She was saying how the bodice, you can wear, so is this the back? I'm confused. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, hold on. Let's see the, let's see if we can get some close-ups. All right, so this is one option, right, where the teal color is like a regular strap, but then... The teal regular strap gets sewn into this purple strap that acts more as like a casing. So it really is like two in one. It's like a regular knit tank top and also like one of those, um, what are they called? Pillowcase dresses. Let's see if somebody's wearing them both ways. Give us the halter. Give us the halter. Well, there's the halter in the back. There it is in the back again. Nobody turned theirs around the other way. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. That is quite different. It is more of a halter when you do it that way. So here, you can see really well. We'll compare these two. So you've got your regular scoop neck, right? And it's got full coverage through the arm. And then here, it cuts in and comes way up higher on the neck. Again, it's a basic, you know, knit elastic dress, but that one little one little thing really does make it so much different than anything else we've seen. And we've done a lot of these first impression videos, guys. We've seen a lot of really basic <laughs> um, indie pattern companies, but this one feels like every single pattern is like one of those, but also like ingenious at the same time. Super cool. All right. Maternity add-on. We're going to skip that. Here is Storm's Flutter Top. 
Um, multiple hem options. Uh, easy adjust for hard, easy to adjust for hard to fit shapes. Figure flattering on all shapes and sizes. Perfect for those thin, almost sheer knits. Yes. This top is a part of my new Pinspired sewing patterns. Uh, trendy patterns due to popular requests because of styles of clothes seen in stores or in photos on Pinterest. Okay. Well, let's take a look. So, it is a knit top. Oh, is that it? Well, that's interesting and got to be very easy to sew. Yeah. So, basically like a knit kimono top kind of. Oh, yep, you can see right here. Well, that's why it's so easy to fit. Because you start out with this little scoopy thing. You probably try it on and then pin however tight you want it to be at your hips. And then you just sew right on up. And now you've got your fitted shirt. When your arms are down, that's what it looks like. You know what? I know she said though this is great for those thin knits. But it's also really great for those knits where you have like either a print or a pattern. Like a stripe or I don't know. You just have some like directional type of something and you don't want to cut it up. Um, this is a really good one for that or for knits that are kind of hard to sew. Um, like some like stretch velvet, for example, not your friend. <laughs> um, so this could be a good way to use up some of that as well. Fun. She calls it for confident beginner, but my goodness, I can't imagine it getting much easier than that. All right, now we have the Calla Lily skirt. Flower petal inspired high-low skirt is a great summer staple. Um, faux wrap front with high-low hem is inspired by her favorite flower, the Calla Lily. Um, a ton of use out of it because there are three waist options, two skirt lengths, and multiple hemming options. Okay. So, yes, you've got the crossover front, but the flat waistband. Okay. There's a longer length. Looks like she's suggesting like a rolled hem on it too, which is really nice and easy to sew. Dressed up, super cute. Oh, a little ballet outfit. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So, um, so the waistband gets a super stretchy fabric and then the body of the skirt gets a, a different fabric. Or, of course, you could use the same one so long as both of them are equally stretchy, I guess. Not even equally stretchy, just so long as both of them are stretchy enough for the waistband, I guess. Um, wide black elastic for an exposed elastic waist. You could do that as well. Okay, so I don't know what she means about the multiple, didn't she say multiple hem lengths? Multiple hemming. Two skirt lengths. What are the three waist options? She doesn't say, and it was really hard to tell because a lot of the testers had them over there, had, the sh had their shirts over. Um, okay, well, there you have it. Okay, now we have the women's off-the-shoulder top and tunic. Modern top with an inviting neckline finish. Unlike many cowls that have unfinished edges, this cowl neck is completely finished and the simple tucks added to the top keep the distinctive drape lines, whether sitting in one place or moving around. Cute. We need this in a sweater knit for sure, right? Uh, 
unhemmed here. Um, so this is what she's talking about, though. How oh, it actually looks like she used a sweatshirt fleece. And then this is the wrong side of the sweatshirt fleece. Is that how this is sewn? You just turn it, the wrong side shows? Well, I don't know. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, and it doesn't really say. Variety of knit from cotton like New Jersey to warm sweater knits. Yeah, I mean, if that were the case in a warm sweater knit, that would be fine. Um, well, no. Well, that could be the wrong side of her fabric, too. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, she doesn't say anywhere where the wrong side shows. But either way, cute little tunic. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I do like the kind of dramatic shoulder detail in a sweater knit especially. I don't know about making mine tunic length, um, but easy enough to crop, right? Here is the women's asymmetrical drape top. Uh, modern and trendy, both side seam sleeve options offer plenty of drape for the midsection. Um, two different side seam options. One gives more asymmetrical sleeve shape with the drape. The other offers a... Cl uh, offers closer to a traditional dolman sleeve and fitted torso while still taking advantage of the asymmetrical hem sleeves and drape on one side. What does all of that mean? Let's see. All right. Well, that looks a lot like the first top we looked at. Okay. So we've got a top again with just two pieces, the front and the back. And then somehow this is all scrunched up on one side giving you those like, um, I don't know, folds all through the midsection, which is what she's talking about. And then you can have it banded or not in a couple of different lengths, it looks like. Wait, wait, wait. That's the same girl, right? Yeah, so you can either let it down, that's kind of cool, let it down and have the asymmetrical hem really pronounced, or you can bring it up and have it more scrunchy and short. That's kind of cool. I don't really know how she's adjusting it that way, but yeah, the photos are making it really hard to see the construction of the side, like I get the concept, what is it? Is it gathers, is it pleats, is there a drawstring? Like what is happening? Great for stripes. Great for ITY knit. I don't know if that's what that woman was wearing, but that reminded me of ITY knit. Um, all right, so it doesn't really tell us what is happening there, but you get the idea of what the overall effect is supposed to be. Um, and if it's adjustable, like that one woman's made it seem, well, then that's really cool. All right. It says we have two more pages, but I think a lot of these are going to end up being bundles as we get closer here. I actually think we only have a couple more patterns to go. So, all right. We have the timeless pencil skirt, classic pencil skirt, higher natural waist and options for extra high empire waist. Comfortable knit fabrics. Two different waist heights, two different hem lengths. There's also a contoured waistband to better fit most pear shapes and yoga waistband for more apple shapes. Um, classic fit that is looser through the legs and knees or fitted fit that hugs the legs more. We've also included an optional kick plate to give more room through the knees when walking. Well, thank you. So I'm not the biggest fan of a pencil skirt, but if I'm going to wear one, it's going to be knit <laughs> because it's going to be comfortable and it's going to be stretchy. Um, oh, the kick pleat is quite nice actually right here. I mean, all of these look really great. Like every single shape of every single woman looks good. So maybe I'm just in my head about pencil skirts and I should reconsider. Because 
these literally look good on every single person I'm looking at. No matter what their figures are. And kind of also no matter what fabric they chose, which makes me think that she was very specific about fabrics. Um, here is the contoured waistband she mentioned, and then the two different shapes. So this is the more full shape, and this is the more fitted shape. Nice. What does she say about fabrics? Anything? Mm, 30% stretch. That makes sense. So kind of the same deal as what a compression legging would do, I guess. Here is the off-the-shoulder dress and peplum. This feels a lot like that shirt we just looked at, except they added a little peplum to this one. A little maybe half skirt. Or, I'm sorry, half circle. Oh, it's a full dress too. Well, that looks like two different pieces. So that's interesting and fun. Look at that. Super cute and a lightweight drapey fabric for sure. Yeah, you can do some color blocking. Lots of good options for this. But I don't see why you couldn't just buy this one and just leave off the skirt. Um, and then you'd have like the other pattern plus this pattern all in one. And normally, like, if I would look at these line drawings, I would think that looked like a little too juvenile, like a little too, I don't know, girly. But seeing the, the Chester versions, none of them really looked juvenile at all. They looked actually quite nice. Cute. All right. So bundle, bundle. We have Natasha here. Um... It's a top tunic and dress, dolman style sleeves again with a peasant style finish. Perfect for light drapey summer knits. There's elastic casings to give it more shape. Because of the single piece dolman construction, there is now, there is no arm seam and it allows for great comfort and airflow. Perfect for summer weather. Four length options. Um... You can all, there's directions to make a sash, the matching sash. And then you just place the sash wherever you want, empire, waist, or at your high hip. So, yes, so you can see here how this works. Is this included? That's really cute. So, you just have your dolman top. It's just really billowing and really blousey. And then you can add either a belt or a sash or make one. Um, and put it around your waist, empire, wherever. Um, but you can see how blousey it is. Yeah, that little ribbon is included. So cute. And see how people are tying the sash in different places. I kind of really like just the top version. I don't know about elastic in the hem. It's not my favorite, but when it built, like see how she did not put elastic in there? That's really cute. I like that version the best. Cute. Very cute. Um, lightweight fashion knit fabric. Thin and draping is most important. Um, matching or contrasting fabric for the sash or some ribbon. Then you need some elastic. All right. I like Natasha. Natasha feels like really great palette cleanser, <laughs> really like easy to sew, but really fashion-y still, you know? All right, bundle, bundle. Here is the Boxy Boyfriend tee, which we are not going to take a look at. I can't tell you how many times I've reviewed Boxy tees, and they're just Boxy tees. Um, I don't ever feel like one is more than the other, but that is also it. If you have like a little one, a little child, um, be sure to check out some of these bundles. She also has this mega maternity bundle where I don't even know how many patterns you get all in one. But yeah, I think I pretty much wrapped up my thoughts about everything your mama made patterns by saying that yes, they are basics. 
some of them are more basic than others, but I feel like the thoughtfulness behind the designs are really what makes this pattern company a little bit different than some of the other basic designs in indie pattern companies. Does that make sense? I'm curious to know what you guys think. I'm curious if you've ever sewn an EYMM pattern before, let me know what your thoughts are. I love getting you guys' um, input and your feedback. I mean, look how cute. Matching skirts for mom, daughter, and doll. I mean, that's just so sweet. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on these patterns, on this pattern company, if you've ever sewn with them before, or if you haven't, if this was your first time looking at them just like me, um, give me kind of your initial impressions as well. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.